for joining in. Have you ever thought that you're going to a concert, music, you are with your friends, traveling, or maybe just sitting and grooving with the music? Now, imagine a scenario: you're doing all the same things but without music. Very lonely, right? Life बहुत अधूरी हो जाएगी. Exactly. You know that when you go to these places and you hear this music, you can't just hear it. All the people who are running a business unit, such as a pub, restaurant, hotel, mall, etc., have to take a music license to play the pre-recorded music. The purpose behind obtaining a music license is to protect and safeguard the rights of composers, writers, and publishers. Expert consultation can help all these people getting a music license without much worry. Welcome you all to the video. I am Sumiti Anand and today we are going to talk about music license. Music license is recommended for all the businesses who wish to play music in public or commercial premises or commercial establishments. Music soothes us, heals us, heals our tired soul. It acts as a great stress booster. We all know that. However, many of us are still unaware that every establishment or an individual who wishes to use pre-recorded music for some non-personal reasons first obtain a music license and hence playing music in different public places whether it is a bar, cafe, restaurant, hotel, pub or other places needs consent in the form of a music license. Acquiring music license is compulsory for these places before they start to play, perform at public places. Now, who exactly are these people who needs a music license? Any person who is willing to play pre-recorded music in their hotel or any such premises must obtain a music license to avoid any forfeit. Further, the business unit can be any restaurant, events, cinema halls, hotels, pubs, malls, sports events, product launches, aircraft, or any other such place where music is played. I know we are just sitting there listening music, and a whole lot of process goes behind that. You know, a business should obtain IRPS license if it is engaged in any of the following listed activities: band performances. public performances singers performing at your business now let's understand the process if you are one of these and wants to get a music license what's the procedure the very first and foremost is to select the category for the music license and once you are done with that the applicant must create an online account on the official website of the IPR that's intellectual property rights start with opting for the type of license and then complete all the required details and then once the application form is duly complete the online check takes place with the help of a mobile otp verification after verification gets over the applicant is required to pay the prescribed common fee by using online payment gateways and after the successful registration Indian Performing Rights Societies issue an introduction letter to the concerned applicant. This letter indicates that the registration of the applicant is complete with the IPRS database. Now, how do you obtain a music license for a live performance? We have all enjoyed, we still do. I know in these times we are missing live performances. but any person who is a performer or who's going to go and perform live have to go through this process how do you obtain it you submit the venue form by completing it then you select the venue from the existing venue list mention the date of the live performance event pay the fees as prescribed in the background music category now if you have completed the procedure or you are about to start you sit down Here are the documents you need to take with you while going through the process. You need personal details such as name, address, nationality. You need your PAN card, GST registration certificate, details concerning the business, and a lot of other documents that you will be needed. Now, what is the penalty prescribed for not obtaining a music license? Ever thought that there are a lot of people who might be just playing music without a music license? Do you know restaurants that are willing to either hold a live performance or want to play a pre-recorded music of any kind 
are required to obtain a music license. In addition to this, any business that did not get itself registered with the respective copyright society or is indulged in doing any activity defined in section 51 are liable for a punishment prescribed under section 63 and 63A of the copyright. Now what is under section 63? The offender is liable to pay a fees of not less than rupees 50,000 and the same may extend up to 2 lakhs. In severe cases, it can also lead to imprisonment for 6 months, which can extend up to 3 years. Strict, right? Also, in severe cases, under Section 63A, it can lead to imprisonment for 1 year, which may extend further to 3 years. And the offender is liable to pay of not less than 1 lakh, which may extend to rupees 2 lakhs. And you know that if you are someone who is in the category who wants to get a music license or need any help, you can bank upon us and we have got the field experts who will draft the application for a music license and will assist you with the documentation and expert consultation. So right here, do contact us if you need any details and other than that, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the video and our channel. And do let us know if you need any information on any of the related topics in the comment box below. I'll see you soon in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.